Well, hello, here we are then. Uh, EAWRC has finally been revealed, and in this video, I'm not going to strip the video down too much, that'll be done everywhere else. Uh, I am going to highlight some bits I enjoyed, and more importantly, reveal a secret that almost everybody will have missed. So as we run through the video, the first thing that caught my interest was this clip of the Faf or Fafé jump in Portugal, showing that Codemasters will have likely recreated the entire iconic stage one-to-one, -one, which I'm personally very excited about as it has played a massive part in WRC history. Continuing on, we see a few more bits and pieces, including more of what looks like Rally Portugal with those huge characteristic boulders, this time in the rain though, including what I think looks like a stunning grey gloomy sky overhead. The video carries on with various little glimpses into the World Rally Championship before settling into a section containing historic content, which I'm sure will come as a relief to many fans of the Dirt Rally series, confirming that EA Codemasters are still committed to recreating high quality representations of World Rally icons like the Lamptia Delta Integrale and the Audi Quattro, so on and so forth. But now we come into the meat of this video, the clip that will have flown by many viewers, much like the Hyundai i20 WRC car through the stage itself. Here we can see one of two things, either a gravel rally in winter or a winter snow rally in spring. But by the looks of the vegetation, I'm going to assume it's the former. This looks to me to be either Rally Finland or Estonia, which are summer rallies by the way, with snow and ice on and around the stage. Is this an indication that time of year can be altered in the AWRC, that we can run summer rallies in winter and winter rallies in summer, dramatically changing the character and challenge of each event. If so, this could be a game changer and a feature that could add a ton of replayability and endless options for online leagues and championships. This is the feature in the video that excited me the most. Let me know in the comments section what you make of it. Next up we have a lovely aerial shot showing the rooster tails of dust dissipating in what looks like a very realistic fashion behind the car. Uh, which will hopefully add a new layer of authenticity to replays and in-game photos. And towards the end of the video, we see more of that dust and gravel spraying up from behind various cars. It's all very nice. Uh, and right here at the end of the video, we get a look at what's included in the pre-order. So let's take a look. So firstly, we can get three days early access, which means you could be playing as early as October 31st, which will make it a very happy Halloween, I'm sure. Uh, five VIP rally passes, which I think is essentially like seasons in any other game, which indicates a potential of five lots of DLC landing in the months after release. And furthermore, we'll be getting three team livery and apparel packs, which is pretty self-explanatory, probably some special liveries and some sort of race suit or helmet designs, I'm, I'm assuming. Well, that's it for this video. I've tried to keep it short, but I do have a more in-depth video releasing soon after this one, which will be analyzing the EA press release that released alongside the trailer, uh, which contains a ton more information. Uh, and so I felt it deserved its own stage time. Uh, please like this video if you did and subscribe to the channel for the most in-depth analysis of everything EA WRC. Thanks for watching. See you later.